Braised tofu skin is soft and thin, pairing well with the chewy and firm texture of black fungus. Today we are making vegetarian braised tofu skin with black fungus. The ingredients are 225 grams of dry tofu skin or fuchok, soak, cut and wash. 20 grams of dry black fungus, soak, cut and wash. I suggest to prepare the tofu skin and black fungus ahead of time as the tofu skin need to be soaked for minimum 2 hours. Here's how to do it. Use two bowls for soaking or a big basin of water. The size should be enough to fully submerge all the tofu skin and black fungus in the water. Put all the dry black fungus in the water. They tend to float, so just push them down slightly. Next, we are soaking the tofu skin. Put in and arrange all the tofu skin to ensure it is fully submerged. We will leave them here for a couple of hours or until the tofu skin is really soft. Although the black fungus will be done in 10 minutes, we will leave them both to soak at the same time together. There is no impact on the taste. After 2 hours, the tofu skin is soft and ready to be cooked. We are going to cut and wash the tofu skin and the black fungus before cooking. Back to the rest of the ingredients. 45 grams of red dates, seeds removed and cut into half. 15 grams of goji berries, 40 grams of ginger strips, 1 stalk of parsley, 2 tablespoons of garlic oil, 1 tablespoon of garlic in oil, half teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of sesame oil, 2 tablespoons of mushroom sauce, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of tapioca flour, and 2 cups of water. Let's cook. Heat the pan, add in the garlic oil. When oil is getting hot, add in ginger strips. Stir fry until fragrant and soft. This may take around 40 seconds. Next, we are adding in the black fungus. Stir to get a nice coating of garlic oil. Add in the tofu skin. Stir fry for 20 seconds to mix with the black fungus and ginger. Add in the seasoning, light soy sauce, sesame oil, pepper, mushroom sauce, and the red dates. Give it a mix for 30 seconds or until the ingredients and seasoning are well combined. Next, add in 2 cups of water. Lightly stir the water to sink in. Also to check that the water level should be 2 over 3 levels of the tofu skin. Cover the lid and let it simmer for 20 minutes. From time to time, we need to come back. Stir and check on the water. If it is too dry, we can add in about a quarter cup of water each time. While waiting for the tofu skin to cook, we are preparing the tapioca flour mix. Add 2 tablespoons of water to the flour. Mix until the flour dissolves. Put it aside. After 12 minutes of cooking the tofu skin, open the lid, give it a stir. We are checking on the gravy level in the pan. Looks like there are still quite a lot of gravy, so I am not adding any water. We need to keep an eye on this as we are cooking the tofu skin in medium-high heat. So the gravy tends to evaporate quite fast. Just gonna cover the lid and continue to cook for 8 more minutes. 3 more minutes to go. Open the lid, give it a stir. See, we still have a bit of gravy in the pan. Now I will give it a taste. Mmm, lovely, but still slightly lacking of saltiness. 
So I'm adding in one more tablespoon of light soy sauce. Add half of the garlic in oil. Give it a stir. Taste it again. Yes, this time is perfect. Very delicious and fragrant. The total of the ingredient used will be finalized in the description box. Next, we are adding in the goji berry. For the goji berry, I like to wash it right before putting in the food, as they melt easily when it's wet. Stir until all combined. Next, pour in the tapioca flour mix to thicken the gravy. Stir immediately. Now we can switch off the heat. Lastly, add in all the parsley. And the balance of garlic in oil. Give it a final mix. And we are done. Let's eat! Mm. The tofu skin is tasty, soft and fragrant. The black fungus is chewy and fun to eat. The gravy is flavorful and sweet. This is perfect as a main or a side dish. Lovely! Subscribe for more home cook recipe like this. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye!